use two basic ingredients. The first ingredient is, is made by agricultural residues. So talking about wheat straw, corn stover, or brands, or even tomato skins, coffee waste. So all the secondary products that are coming from agricultural production or agro-industrial processing, basically containing cellulose and hemicellulose. And then the second basic ingredient is a fungi uh, that, that can grow actually on those substrates, eating the complex sugars and producing this, this biofoam. Um, so those are two, the two basic ingredients and then basically need just time and space in order to allow the grow the mushroom to grow on its uh, substrate. Basically, uh, we grow uh, the mushrooms on the substrate in a very similar way of what they do the mushroom farmers, the conventional farm mushroom farmers. So you grow on, on big bags of sterilized materials for about a week. Once you are done, the, the, the cement, the raw material for your end product is, is ready. So that out of this cement, you basically mold all the, all, the, all, the, all the type of different final products that you need. So once you are done with the mycelium cement, then you are able in a distributed way, so at every single facility without the need of transportation for packaging material, you're able to produce yourself your own packaging material at your facility. Well, uh, at the very beginning, of course, we had the chance to, to work with a wide range of different market segments. Uh, so starting from packaging to insulation panels, even to pharmaceuticals or other added value applications, we decided to focus on the, on the, the first one or two years into packaging and insulation because we see, first of all, that the market is quite interesting in terms of dimensions. Secondly, the market is ready to accept new products like this. And then the third reason is that actually companies operating in the distribution of manufactured goods worldwide are looking for greener solutions to, to satisfy their the customers. Just to give you an example, big brands producing wines, especially in Italy, you know, they are from Italy, they are looking for green solutions to ship their bottles of wine worldwide. And this solution might be a green solution for them. Moreover, you can produce your wine boxes out of wine yard residues, so that basically you are not using any other product but your, your byproducts, also to distribute your the final goods. Yes, it is fully biodegradable and also compostable. Certifications are under development. Uh, what we have seen so far is that the, the timing for degradation of this material is actually a lot faster than other, other competitors. That's because of the nature of the material itself. I mean, once the humidity, water and ground is getting in touch with that, the, the, the simple sugars dilute so that the material goes into degradation in a matter of weeks instead of months. We went into an extensive research in order to, to make our clients comfortable with this issue, of course. Uh, I can give you two different answers to this. The first is that actually the fungi is not here anymore. Because once you have finished with your growing phase, basically you, you cook those, those pieces in uh, approximately in 80, 90 degrees so that you kill the fungi. And, and, the, and, the, and the material is inert by, by, by definition. So this is, is made of a composite of sugars, chitin, which is the, the structure of, of the fungi, and agricultural residues. Then we also have tested the mycotoxins, the possibility of finding mycotoxins inside this, and the results are all negative. Having said this, before being ready to distribute our product in the European market, of course, we will need specific certification to be 100% sure there won't be any problem for the final users. And this process is 
time consuming and money consuming. So we are approaching this red debt very serious, but it will be part of the, our next phase. We are targeting our early customers in 2016, and we hope we can start with distribution of the first two packaging applications in 2017.